Welcome to the 48th commencement of the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Family members, trustees, faculty, alumni, and honored guests, sitting before you are the class of 2017 graduates of the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, who are among the most distinguished graduates of any medical and graduate school in the world. And as we all know, our graduates did not get to this moment of high achievement by themselves. Let us have a moment of silence to think about those loved ones who supported them during the long journey to this day and who could not be with us today. Class of 2017, please stand and show your appreciation with thunderous applause to thank those friends and family who are here today. Good job. <laughs> the community service of the class of 2017 is legendary. What have they done? They have organized the New York City Coalition to dismantle racism in health systems. They have co-founded the Nexus course, Deconstructing Race in Medicine and Health, Our Patients, Ourselves, which explores the role of racism in health disparities among patients, as well as the implications of race and racial bias on medical training and the practice of physicians. They have expanded the curriculum and enrollment for Sinai's youth education program, established fully funded eight-week research inter internships for women in African American, in African universities. They led a group to join hashtag protect our patients movement in Washington, D.C., and petitioned and met with senators such as Bernie Sanders, Cory Booker, Kamala Harris, Tim Kaine, and Elizabeth Warren to lobby against the repeal of the Affordable Care Act. They created Nutrition Corps, a training and service venue for students to coach patients suffering from obesity, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes, and launched EHEP Consulting, a student group charged with supporting the expansion and development of student-run free clinics across the nation. In addition, they have received multiple research awards from the National Institutes of Health, the New York Academy of Medicine, the Doris Duke Foundation, the American Association for Cancer Research, the Digestive Disease Research Foundation, Howard Hughes Medical Institute, the American Society of Nephrology, Society for Vascular Medicine, and the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. And I'm just naming a few. The class of 2017 has conducted outstanding research, which has the, the potential to do the following. To discover a new generation a broadly protective universal flu vaccines and novel antiviral therapies, to discover drugs to stop the progression of melanoma and other cancers, to develop human engineered cardiac tissues to cure lethal heart disease, and identify the genetic ba uh, basis of multiple diseases ranging from cancer and heart disease to psychiatric and neurological diseases. They determine how the microbiome and immune status can promote health and prevent disease. And some in the audience may be interested in this. To utilize chemokines and growth factors signaling to promote hair growth. <laughs> Nobody in particular. <laughs> Class of 2017. The road to this moment was not on the map. When you leave this room, your pursuit of personal dreams 
born long before you came to Mount Sinai will continue. Before that happens, though, for a few minutes, let me share my dream for you. And as I do so, feel free to dream along with me. Let us dream big together. In my dream, Mount Sinai graduates change the world. In every generation, a group of individuals must rise to lead the charge against the great challenges of our time. Must, in the words of Robert F. Kennedy, see things as they are and say why, dream things that never were and say why not. Graduates, these our times are no exception. In my dream, for our times, you are that special group of individuals, scientists, physicians, scholars, adventurers, educators, activists, advocates who will rise to set the course through the storm. Now I should warn you, not only was the road to this moment not on the map, but neither is the road moving forward. Indeed, this dream is born of the hope that the class of 2017 will find solutions where my generation could not. However, while I can't point you towards this road, I can tell you what you will need to seek it out. A prescription for leadership. Here is mine. Get the best out of people by earning their respect and affection and by being authentic. Recognize and unleash creativity in those around you. Work to improve every single day. When times get tough, get tougher. Make entrepreneurship a way of life. Dig deep to find hidden gifts in people. Every human being has a creative, incredible talent. Learn from failure and criticism, yet always be bold and ne never, never stop believing that you can achieve what others deem impossible. Those who do achieve the best and the most. Dig deepest on the darkest days. And remember, disease is a tough enemy who will never give up. Will you? Know who to follow. Medicine and science are team sports. Make no mistake. The names remembered by history are just symbols, for a team is behind every great feat. In this prescription, you may note a common theme. To be a great leader, you're going to need to be resilient and have courage. President John F. Kennedy, in his book, Profiles and Courage, wrote, in whatever area in life one may meet the challenges of courage, whatever may be the sacrifices faced, each must decide the course to be followed. The stories of courage can teach, they can offer hope, they can provide inspiration. Let me repeat that. The, storage of, the stories of courage can teach, they can offer hope, and they can provide inspiration. Let me share three profiles in courage. The first profile in courage is of a young woman who successfully fought off beta cell lymphoma. After six months of debilitating chemotherapy, followed by radiation treatment, how did she do it? Unbelievable personal courage, unshakable mental optimism, support from her family and friends. Her parents dropped everything and came to America to care for her. And her fiance supported her throughout and even gave her a foot massage every night. What is her professional goal? To get back to the lab and use the power of science to better understand and cure disease. The second profile in courage is, is of a young man born in Zimbabwe. He decided to get educated abroad. He gets a full scholarship to Princeton. His first day at Princeton was his first day in America. He wins a Rhodes Scholarship. He wants to be a doctor. But his father dies of cardiomyopathy. 
his mother, his role model, spends her savings to afford the first year of medical school before he was awarded a full scholarship. In his first year of medical training, he finds that he too has a potentially fatal cardiomyopathy. Does he give up? No, he gets the treatment he needs and his goals are to help those who need it most. He co-founds a nonprofit called Kushinga, which appropriately means to persevere through difficult times. Kushinga is formed to enhance the mental health system in Zimbabwe, which is virtually non-existent. The third profile in courage is of a young woman born in Queens, lived in a basement in Brooklyn, lost her first serious boyfriend in a car accident, was severely injured herself in a subsequent car accident, hit being hit by an intoxicated driver, and was left with, with residual medical problems. What is her response? She becomes the lead organizer for the New York City Coalition to Dismantle Racism, becomes co-founder of the local chapter of Doctors for America, establishes a partnership with the East Harlem Community Health Committee to improve access to care. She does all this and much more. Do not underestimate how hard it is to be resilient. It requires courage to confront painful, painful realities. The faith that there will be a solution when one is not immediately evident and the tenacity to carry on when the situation appears hopeless. In my dream, where Mount Sinai graduates change the world, they do so by shining through on their darkest days. How do I know this is possible? Each of the three heroes I just described are not only in this room right now, but are graduates of the class of 2017. I promised myself I wasn't going to get emotional. <laughs> Scientists, I guarantee you will experience failure more often than success. I did. It wasn't until I was 50 years old that my team discovered a treatment, ketamine, that may help millions of patients with treatment depression. So never, ever give up. Physicians, you will lose patients that will make you weep and experience intense anguish. You will need to find the strength to carry on, to provide hope. Remember, you are a healer, which involves not only skill, but also mind and spirit. As many of you know, on August 29th, <coughs> 2016, I was the victim of a crime. I was hit by a shotgun blast in my right shoulder. Luckily, it missed major arteries and nerves. But I did lose half my blood and spent five days in the ICU at Mount Sinai Hospital. What helped me recover? First, my family, friends, and colleagues gave me enormous support and taught me that love is a power stronger than death. It's a great quote. Love is a power stronger than death. I didn't make it up, but it is a great quote. <laughs> I give a prize to those who said that. Second, during my moments of doubt, my Mount Sinai doctors gave me hope and more hope. Third, I needed the motivation from the students here today. I am proud to be your dean. Who would not be given your character and accomplishments? You motivated me not only to recover, but to be a better leader, to challenge you to your limits, to inspire you intellectually, and as some of you might know, defeat you athletically. <laughs> or at least try. 
<laughs> Class in 2017, I sincerely thank you and hope in some small way I can serve as a role model as you begin your journey. But remember, one dream, one person can benefit generations. When we dream together, when we dream together, we can change the world. What starts right here, what starts right now, is a quest. And here's another one of my favorite quotes. To dream the impossible dream, to fight the unbeatable foe, to bear with unbearable sorrow, and to run where the brave dare not go. Thank you.